everyone, Fatma here from Addictive Tips and I'm going to show you how you can display custom text on the desktop on Windows 10. We're going to do this with a rain meter skin and we're going to be creating this rain meter skin by ourselves. It's pretty easy to do. The only thing you need to decide before you proceed with this is if you want to use a custom font. If you want to use a custom font, go ahead and download it first and make sure it's not copyright protected. So once you've got your font, what you need to do first is go to your desktop and create a folder for your skin. Give the folder the exact name that you want the skin to have. And inside this folder, you want to create another folder named at resources. And inside this folder, create another folder called fonts. And then move the font that you want to use into this folder. Now, if you do not want to use a custom font, you can skip this whole step. So on to creating the rain meter skin, open a new notepad file and then paste these lines into it. Now you're obviously going to be editing these lines before you can create your skin. The first line that you have to edit is the font face. Now, if you do not want to use a custom font, you can leave this as it is, or you can just remove it if you want. You can also replace it with a system font like Arial or Times New Roman. It's entirely up to you. The second line that you need to edit is the font size. And obviously this is going to decide how large the text on your screen is. The next line that you need to edit is the font color line. And this line tells the skin which color to display the text in. And the text color is given in hex codes. You can find hex codes by just Googling for them. The next is the font weight line. Now font weight is what decides whether text is bold or not. You'll probably be playing with this a bit, but go ahead and go with 400 for now and see how it looks. And lastly, there's the text line. This line decides what text is shown. So I've set it to hello world. Um, go ahead and change it to whatever you want. Now save this file with the INI extension and move it to the folder that you created before. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to package this file as a rain meter skin. This is really simple to do and you don't necessarily have to do it. You can just move the folder that you created to the skins folder. But this is a much better way of creating and installing rain meter skins. So what you need to do is you need to open rain meter, go to the skins tab, then click this create.rm skin package button here. Um, fill in these fields here for the name, the author and the version and then click this add skin button. Select add custom folder and select the folder for your skin. Click add, the folder's been added and all you need to do now is click next. There are no other settings that you need to change on this other window that you see. Let the app create the skin and here we have it. Double click the skin that you created and then install it in rain meter. And when you go to rain meter, your skin is going to be installed right here. Go ahead and load it up and here is the text on your screen. Anytime you want to change the text that's being displayed, what you need to do is you need to first um, open Rain Meter, go to the Skins tab and then expand the folder for the skin that you installed. Under this folder, you're going to see the INI file. Select it, click this Edit button up here and it's going to open the INI file. Go ahead and change the text in this last line. Save the change that you made to the INI file and then click this either refresh button if you did not unload the skin or if you unloaded the skin, go ahead and load it again. And the text on your desktop is going to be updated. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later with more tech tips.